Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's look at this problem set here. The first problem is asking a solenoid of length 15 cm consists of closely spaced coils of wire wrapped tightly around a wooden core. The magnetic field strength is 3.3 millitesla inside the solenoid near its center when a certain current flows through the coils. If the coils of the solenoid are now pulled apart slightly, stretching it to 19.2 cm without appreciably changing the area of the coils, what does the magnetic field become near the center of the solenoid when the same current flows through the coils? So here the question is asking to find out the magnetic field when we stretch the solenoid. So first we have 15 cm solenoid length and when we have 15 cm the magnetic field was 3.3 millitesla and here we are stretching the length that is 19.2 now we are going to see what's the new magnetic field is going to be. So we have to know what's the relationship be between this length and the magnetic field. To find this one, you have to see the magnetic field inside a solenoid equation. That is given by V is equal to mu naught Ni divided by L. And from this one, you can see the relationship between the magnetic field and the length. From this one, we can see magnetic field is inversely proportional to the length. Right, so from this one we can create the equation. We can say that if we rearrange this one, B1 L1 is equal to B2 L2. Okay, here we are trying to find B2 because initial condition we already know when it's 15 centimeters the magnetic field was 3.3 millitesla. Now we are going to see when we stretch this one to 19.2 centimeter, what's going to be the magnetic field. Now to find this one we are we have to rearrange this equation. When we rearrange this will become B2 is equal to B1 L1 over L2 and B1 is given that is 3.3 millitesla 3.3 times 10 to the power of minus 3 tesla times the length is 15 centimeter in meter that's going to be 15 times 10 to the power of minus 2 divided by this one that is 19.2 times 10 to the power of minus 2 meter now let's cancel what we can cancel. Here we can cancel this 10 to the power minus 2, 10 to the power minus 2. And if you calculate this one, you will get 2.578 times 10 to the power minus 3 Tesla. And in millitesla and two decimal places, this is going to become 2.58 millitesla. And that's going to be the answer for the first question. Now let's look at the second problem. This question is asking, two infinite parallel wires both carry 30 amperes of current in opposite directions. If the wires are 1.84 meter apart, determine the force per unit length between the wires caused by their magnetic interaction. Indicate if the force is repulsive plus or attractive negative by the sign of your answer. Okay, also give the answer in, uh, the answer in units of Newton meter per mu naught up to four decimal places. Okay, now let's look at the problem. Here the wires are in the opposite direction, right? This current carry in the opposite direction. When we have opposite direction, that is repulsive. So the answer is going to be positive. Now the equation for the force per unit length is given by mu naught I1 I2 over 2 phi r. Now here we have the I1 and I2 same because they are saying both carries the same current right both wires both carry 30 ampere so this is going to be i square so mu naught we leave it as it is because in the question they have mentioned give the answer in unit newton per meter mu naught so we don't use mu naught here we just leave mu naught as it is mu naught and then i square is going to be 30 square i1 times i2 that's going to be 30 times 30 30 square divided by 2 phi and the distance is 1.84 and if you calculate this one you will get 77.847527 and the unit is going to be Newton per meter mu naught because we do, didn't use mu naught so we keep the mu naught as a unit and uh, also you can put the mu naught in after the new actually after the Newton because Newton mu naught over meter is same as Newton 
over meter over minute okay now the question is asking to give this, give this in four decimal places so this is going to become 77.8475 and that's going to be the final answer i hope this helps thanks for watching